buying a gun for the little lady? What's that supposed to mean? Let's ask a little lady. Hello, Kelly. Hey guys, it's Kelly here from Armed and Feminine, and today I have with me my friend Krista. I'm happy to be here. Who has embraced shooting and has become quite wonderful at it. Um, but too often I hear so many people, especially men, say, oh, the little lady needs a, a little gun that she can handle. And before you started shooting, you kind of thought maybe that same thing? I did, and I think my husband thought it as well, because I do <laughs> believe the gun that he picked out for me kind of looks more like the little old lady ones on the table. <laughs> Too many times, um, ladies will come to class and they'll have a snappy little gun because their partner said, you need a little gun that you can handle. Mm -hmm. But what we learn is that the little guns uh, can be truly snappy because uh, there's not a whole lot of, of meat there to handle the recoil. And I think you learned that. Mm -hmm. um, and you can even shoot the really big guns. Yes, I can. All right. So here we see a notable size difference in my dear friend. We have literally about a foot and a little bit difference between us. Um, so there is a big difference in our hands um, as well as stature. So all of that, even though very different, we can handle the same size guns. We're going to show you. So we brought a variety of different things with us today and um, things from the, the little snappy uh, 380 Remington here. Um, the other ones we have is Krista's um, LC9S in purple, of course. Um, the rest of these here are all 9mm uh, handguns, which are some of the most popular ones that even men buy. Um, and all of them are double stack, which will be interesting to see how you do. And then, of course, we have a full size 1911 as well. So, one thing that we learn and know is that grip consistency is key no matter what size firearm that you are going to pick up. So do, do any of these things intimidate you? No. No. Because? Because I know how to do a grip and I'm anxious to <laughs> try them. Yeah, and that's just part of it. If you are trained well and you practice and you practice it correctly, if you remember, practice makes permanent, none of these will scare you. All no. right, we're gonna put her to work, let's go. We're gonna start off with a single stack nine millimeter Ruger LC9S. How about it? Ooh, little lady can rack. The full size Springfield 1911. Rock it. <laughs> Two in one hole. Awesome. Don't even have to film it. She hit them all in the same darn holes. I saw you trying to shoot it before it actually Three shot. Shots. Yes, it's very, I think I might actually think my gun is broke <laughs> by the delay from pulling. It's a long trigger pull it's a long, and it's heavy. And it's heavy, yeah. Yeah. But it's a nice little gun for the little lady. Uh, I guess. I mean, yeah. you really didn't have to fire it quickly. <laughs> How was that? It was very fun. <laughs> and. Um, the only one that I had a problem with, I would say, that caused me to pause would have been the smallest one. Yeah. Here it is. There we are. Okay, that's the Remington. We're going to save that one for last, the little little lady gun. Um, what I noticed, even from the full size 1911 versus all of the double stack 9 millimeters, you were able to rack them all, and fairly easily, mm -hmm. right? And people yeah. always think that women can't rack, and we have a video about that. 
Um, the other thing I noticed is that your grip stayed consistent even though, you know, your smaller hand, even with the, the bigger guns, you had no problem maintaining grip consistency on every one of them. And uh, you, you've shot them all, and you have never really shot any of these other guns. This is the first time you first time. pretty much yes. shot all of those, mm -hmm. and you did fairly well for not knowing how they were going to react. Yeah. Um, so back to Snappy. Um, off camera, you managed to say what you couldn't imagine. <laughs> I couldn't imagine a little old lady being able to fire this one multiple times because yeah. long trigger pull. I mean, it's with all action, of these other yeah. ones, it was a quick grab and release, and this one I kept pulling back, waiting to hear <laughs> the release. Yeah. So I don't know that I would ever fire this one again. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's a, that's a point and shoot, and it is double action, so the trigger pull is fairly heavy and fairly long, which is a safety feature, um, but a lot of times when folks think, oh, ladies aren't as strong, or the little ladies need a little gun, well, they're hard to handle, and you have mm -hmm. to really clamshell the crap mm -hmm. out, of, out of your grip on these things to, main, you know, to uh, control the recoil on them, um, and so that hard double action, longer, heavier trigger pull um, can be a problem for some women, especially older women, mm -hmm. who, who do indeed believe that the smaller gun is going to be better for them. So, um, so we learned a little something here that little ladies and big ladies too can handle the same size firearms as pretty much every man can handle. As long as your grip is consistent, you know how to rack properly, you're good to go. So one question that I always get from every woman who comes to class, even ladies I meet in the store, and they'll always say, I want to get a gun, I want to get a gun, what should I get? My standard answer is this, you get the biggest gun that you can comfortably, accurately, and confidently shoot, and if you're concealing, that can conceal well. That's the gun that you should get, and only you can decide what that is. And you decided. Yes, when you picked it out myself. Yay! <laughs> Try, just like trying on clothes. Yeah. I have to try it on to see how it fits. This actually is one that several women will bring, um, the Snubby, the little 38 Special here. And this is interesting because it's cute and it's small and it fits in my purse. And guys think that, that this is really simple to use. And this is actually, for a brand new shooter, fairly difficult yeah. to use. Uh, did you ever try shooting this one here? I think we did try that in class. This barrel is so small, the little two inch barrel. And that, that 38 Special cartridge is powerful. It's a powerful cartridge and a little barrel. The baboom is amazing in it. And what's interesting, on the barrel it actually says that this particular firearm takes plus P ammunition, which means even more pressure is going mm -hmm. to be built into that cartridge, which means it's going to be even more difficult to handle. Um, so remember, the, the, the longer the barrel, the bigger the gun, the easier it is to shoot. So, little lady, may I interest you? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kelly from Armed and Feminine. Very much thanks to my dear friend Krista. If you like, leave us a comment, hit the subscribe button, and remember, it's your life. Protect it. Put you on a stool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just climb on your shoulders. Yay! <laughs>